What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and setup of the Signals Thermometer from Thermalworks. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up with the latest and greatest. Let's go ahead and open this baby up, see what we got inside. All right, so out of the box, you get a couple of things. You got your operating instructions here for your signals. You got your charger and your wall adapter. You got this thing, which is gonna be used inside your smoker or your barbecue pit to hold the meat probe, the temper not the meat probe, but the temperature probe to monitor the temperature on the inside. And then you have these little color bands that you can identify your other meat probes with. It comes with three additional meat probes for your internal temp check. And of course you have your unit of your signals, your signals thermometer. What I like about the signal series is a couple of things. First thing I like about it is that it has four meat temperature probes. What this means is that it can monitor up to four different temperatures at the same time. The other thing I like about this signals is that it is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth wireless. So that's gonna be cool because later on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set it up through my phone. So in order to download the Thermalworks app, you need to go ahead and uh, go get it. If you haven't done it so far, go get it from um, your app store. So here we're just going to start typing in the word Thermalworks. And then you're gonna get one that has this little yellow uh, icon with the circle and those three little lines. That's the right one to install. We're gonna go ahead and click on install. We're gonna go ahead and click on open from here. Now I'm gonna sign in, activate or allow permissions for the location, continue. And here I will use this while, while using this app. All right, so you're in the home page of your Thermalworks app. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna click on device, add a device on the bottom right. Now Thermalworks themselves has different uh, products that they put out, but for this one, this one's a signal series. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the one on the upper left, which says signals. It says to verify your signals is powered on and within Bluetooth range, which it is. Click on next. It already picked up the signals. So I'm just gonna select the one that I want and it's gonna be doing the setup on its own. Now your, your signals is connected to your phone using the, the Bluetooth section. I have it only Bluetooth set up right now. So I'm gonna insert probe one, 87, and insert probe four. So as you can see here, it's uh, as, as they're going in, it's also starting to get picked up here on my, on my phone as well. Now you do have one other connection right here. You can use it to charge it. But the other thing that you can use this for is uh, if you have your Billows fan kit, now, all the products that you see here, I have a link on the description below if you're interested, if you're on the fence. Um, this one here, if you were to connect the Billows fan kit, it'll kick in the fan and turn it off and keep your temperature where you want it. But for now, all we're doing is doing the setup for this. I wanted to show you what you would see or what to expect um, on your display here and then on your phone as well. Um, as you can see, we have 74.5 we have 74.5 right here we have 74.2 so it's just mirroring or matching whatever it says here uh this is these are the readings on the bottom if you were to go to graph it gives you four different graphs of your uh, temperature probes this is why if you notice they have different colors this is why these come in handy you have yellow red blue and green you would um, identify which probe is which if you want to look at it through the graph. Let's see what happens. I am going to, on number four, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand on it and see what happens to the graph. Raise the temperature a little bit on this probe. All right, so this is number four and uh, we'll see what happens. It's already showing me on my on my leads that it's already at 92.3 but there you go look at the graph it, it kind of shows you where i i'm assuming now the green one is number four because it just pumped up uh jumped up really good so i'm just gonna let it go eventually it'll start coming down 
Now, um, the reason you would want to get one of these uh, that has the option, because there is another option that you can purchase. There's something called the uh, Smoker X series. There's an X2 and an X4. Uh, that series is really good as well. Uh, as far as the accuracy is concerned, they're all going to have the same accuracy. They're all going to be pretty much on point. Uh, the difference is that the Smoker X series has an additional little... Um, I guess receiver that it comes with and I have a video if you all want to uh, check those out I have a link I'll put it up when I have a chance um, that one comes with a little receiver so that one is not Bluetooth and, and uh, Wi-Fi enabled so that one you just have a handheld device on this one what I like about this one is you actually get to graph and uh, see where your temperatures are um, visually if you notice I let go of the um, of the temperature probe and as it's coming down it's being graphed as well some settings that you might want to uh, look at, you can uh, change the name of the device here. You can actually, it tells you the battery life because it has a rechargeable battery in there. Uh, it does last around 10 to 12 hours from what I read, but you can also, with this, you charge it and you have it connected. Uh, the color of the signals is black. You can change your display of units to Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can look at the intervals. I'm assuming that if you do every 15 seconds, it's going to waste your battery a little bit faster. And here, what um, if you're going to be using it with the fan, they always uh, recommend that you update the firmware. So that's what I'm going to do right now. These are three, uh, well, all four of them are high temperature meat probes. The, if you're going to notice that there's three of them that have a very pointy end to them, which are the ones that are going to go into your meat. And then you're going to have this dull one is the one that is meant to be able to be put in your smoker itself. So this one kind of latches onto your grill and you just kind of stick this in here and it'll be monitoring your, your temperatures on the inside. Now, if I'm going to disconnect these because it's kind of awkward here. All right, so you have your probes. It's already updated to the latest firmware. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these again. Well, at least just one of them, just to give you like a an idea of, of what's going on here. Okay, so I mean, everything I'm gonna do on the phone, I can also do here. Um, you can change the channel. If you click on CH, that is for channel. That's gonna change your channels. And then if you click on um, channel it blinks and you're gonna set and it tells you if you want to set the high temperature where do you want to set the low temperature and you would change it here if you wanted to and then you're done for that one high and low right um, but you can also do that here on your on your phone if you go in here and let's say you have just one you're only gonna be checking the temperature for one you, you can go ahead and click on channel one and we can rename it, right? If you want to rename it, that's up to you. You can go in there and put, I want the uh, high temperature to be no more than 125 degrees and my low temperature to make sure it stays above 75. If you click on save, it alerts you. And now, well, the reason it's alerting me right now is because it's saying, hey, wait a minute, your temperature is too low. Let me see if I do this. Ah. <sighs> Now it's in the range, right? Um, you can change the ring color here. Uh, you can do the minimum and max. This has been The Smoking Beard. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I do have other videos if you want to check them out. Uh, it'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and initial setup. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing... Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and the setup of the Signals Meat Thermometer from Thermalworks. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and setup of the Signals. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a setup of the Signals Thermalworks Meat Temperature Thermometer. The other thing I like about this Signals is that it's a uh, Bluetooth enabled or uh, it's... um. The other thing I like about this, uh, blue... 